What's up guys, my name is Bucky and welcome to your very first tutorial in Android app development. Now before you even continue on with this video, I need to tell you guys one thing. Before you can start making Android apps, you need to know how to program in Java. Now for those of you who don't know what Java is and think it's like a cup of coffee or something, Java is a computer programming language and this language is the main programming language behind Android apps. So if you don't know how to program in Java, you don't know how to make Android apps. So if you don't know what Java is, go ahead and type the new Boston uh, Java tutorial into youtube.com or just look at my other videos and I made like a hundred Java tutorials. So watch my video series on that, the best on the web by the way, and I'll teach you how to develop in Java. And once you're a Java expert, then you can come back here and begin making Android apps. Now, for those of you who have watched my Java tutorials and or, you know, if you at least know the core basics of how to develop in Java, then let's go ahead and continue. Now, we need a couple things in order to develop Android apps on our computer. You just can't go ahead, open Notepad and start making apps. You need to develop a bunch of toolkits and libraries and stuff like that. So, the first couple videos I'm going to show you, we're not going to be coding at all. We're just going to be setting up our computer in order to develop these Android applications. So, the first thing we need is the Java Development Kit. And this is going to allow us to pretty much program Java on our computer. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and download that first. Again, this is called the JDK or Java Development Kit. So, hmm, let's go. Historic Marathon Match Aussie Open. Huh, I have to read about that later. So, anyways, what I can do, what I was thinking about doing is just giving you guys a direct link and say, all right, click this link and download that. But then I was thinking, you know what? The website is changing all the time. And the last time I downloaded this, it was Sun and then Oracle bought out Sun. So, they changed up all the websites. So, anyways there is no link I'm gonna be able to post in the description box so instead I'm gonna do this anytime you want to download the Java JDK just go ahead and Google and type in download but you have to spell it right download JDK and no matter how they change up the website or who bought out who just go ahead and click on the first thing and this is always gonna bring you to the download paid page for the JDK now if you're looking at this and you're saying alright Bucky told me to download the JDK, so let's go ahead and see if we can find it. The JDK, JDK plus JavaFX plus NetBeans plus EE, it can kind of be overwhelming. But the thing we have to remember is we only need the JDK, but if you want to download something else with it, go ahead. Now what I did is I downloaded the JDK plus JavaFX bundle because not only do I write Android programs, but I also develop Java on my own time. But anyways, you can probably develop or excuse me, you can probably download any one you want. But if you want to stick with me, download the JDK plus JavaFX bundle. So go ahead and click this. And by the way, I'm not going to be able to walk you guys through the entire download since I already have it installed on my computer, but I'm going to show you what to do. So anyways, go ahead and click Java JDK plus JavaFX and you probably need to agree to this you don't need to register this is just optional and go ahead and click continue and then go ahead and click this link right here and what this link is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to download an executable file now whenever you have this file downloaded go ahead and double click it and a wizard is going to open and a wizard is pretty much a walkthrough showing you you know it's pretty much that thing that says next next agree finish you just have to click next a bunch of times and finish and anyways once you have like I said I'm not gonna explain to you how to download something uh, you should know how to do that already if you're watching these tutorials I'm not gonna treat you guys like an idiot so anyways a wizard is gonna pop open once you click that file just hit next next agree finish you got it downloaded so check this out once you have it downloaded go ahead to your command line and you do that by going start and typing CMD or you know however you open your command line and then this thing's gonna pop open now what your command line is is it's pretty much like the old school computer it, it allows you to open files and run programs without having to click the icon so anyways let's go ahead and see what happens when we type in Java C this should go ahead and give us a whole bunch of stuff and tell us about our Java compiler well it says 
Java C is not a recognized, it pretty much says, all right, you have it downloaded, but it's not working. And why is that? It's because even though we downloaded Java, we don't have it set up so our computer recognizes how to use it yet. So in order to do that, here's what we need to do. So again, like I said, after you downloaded that link, open the file and ran the wizard, here's what you need to do. And make sure you pay very close attention to what I'm doing. Go ahead to your start menu right here and go ahead to computer and then go ahead to your main hard drive and double click it. Now you're going to see a bunch of folders. You might have a folder that says program files and you might have a folder that says program files times 86. Now there's going to be a folder in one of these and the folder is going to be called Java. Now mine's in my program files 86 but like I said yours might be in your program files so you're just going to need to look for it. But anyways go ahead and click one of those folders and find the one that says Java and go ahead and click that folder right here. Now once you go ahead and open this folder, you're going to see another folder inside that called JDK and it's going to have a bunch of numbers after it. But anyways, you're looking for the folder that says JDK and again, the path is computer, local disk, program files, Java. So go ahead and double click that JDK folder right there and now inside here, you're looking for a folder that says bin. So double click bin and you see this whole list of crap right inside here. Now what we're interested in doing is getting the path to this location. So go ahead and click any of these files right here. I'm going to go ahead and right click Applet Viewer. Again like I said right click it, don't left click it and go ahead and select Properties. Now in this Properties you're going to see a location. Can you guys hear that? There's like a plane flying over my house and it's a uh, does that plane not know I'm in the middle of the tutorial right now? But anyways, go ahead and at this location, copy this path. It's going to be, it's going to start with your hard drive and it's going to end with bin. So go ahead and copy this and now X out of everything. That path is pretty much a path to what we just downloaded. And we need to tell our computer that that's where it is. So once we have that location copied, here's what we need to do. Now follow along with me. Go ahead to your start menu and where it says computer right here don't click it but right click it and once you right click it a drop down menu is going to appear go ahead and select properties right there now this is going to show you all the properties for your computer but what we are interested in doing is going to the advanced system settings and once we click this a box is going to open in this box we're going to want to choose environment variables so go ahead and click that and we want to add a new variable to our computer. So go ahead and can you guess what one I'm going to click? Yep, new, just right there. Now the variable's name is, and you have to type it exactly like I do, P-A-T-H. It has to be called path. And the variable value, of course, let's go ahead and copy, control V, the path that we just had, the location. So anyways, your path is going to need to start with your hard drive and it's going to need to end with bin. Now go ahead and click OK and go ahead and click OK and then go ahead and click OK and then go ahead and click X and we should be good to go. So in order to test if your Java compiler and the JDK is working, here's what you need to do. Go press CMD or open your command line anyhow you do it and once your command line is open, go ahead and type in Java C again and now when you press enter you see we get a whole list of stuff telling us about the Java compiler now before it said you know Java C not recognized WTF is Java C and now we get this whole list of stuff giving us information about it so that's how we know that the Java JDK is installed properly and it's ready to go so anyways like I said this lays the foundation for giving us the ability to develop Java programs on our computer but we're not done yet setting up our computer. In order to finish setting up our computer for Android development, we need to develop, we need to, excuse me, install the Android SDK, Eclipse, and also set up the Android ADT. So we got a ways to go before we can begin developing Android applications. But trust me, it'll be worth it since it's a whole lot of fun. So, anyways, once you got your Java JDK set up, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. 
don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.